I think it's important that we develop a new generation of young kids who will will embrace this. We we are a unique country. We've got after countries like Indonesia and Brazil, we've got the highest um, biodiversity in the world. And then we have this cultural diversity in the na Rainbow Nation. We've got 11 official languages. And each culture has a very unique use of its um, fauna and flora. So we really have this very interesting mix masala of indigenous knowledge um, within the biodiversity we have in the country. And it's amazing. Um, I always use the classic example of Sudalandia frutescens, the cancer bush, which has been known to traditional healers in both the Khoisan cultures as well as in Zulu culture for decades. And now scientists have realized that these plants really have medicinal properties that's worth exploring. And what we want to show learners is that there are also proudly South African um, knowledge that we need to celebrate. And how do we infuse that into the current curriculum? Because we have a great CAPS curriculum. So what we try and do is to show teachers how they can actually make the CAPS curriculum proudly South African by using local examples. And I think on the long run, my experience is that, that, that kids really relate so well to this because this is cultural knowledge that many of them bring to the classroom and then science and maths learning just become more meaningful. I remember how petrified I was of mathematics in school and, and you know it's well documented that there's this maths anxiety that many learners have. What we do is we would look at indigenous knowledge games like Maraba Raba is a classic example. And there's a lot of maths concepts that, that kids can learn by playing Maraba Raba. Prof. Marty van der Walt is our expert who, who champions the mathematics part of this, this program for us. And the learners actually engage. I like to, to, to refer to um, a term, um, homo ludens. Homo ludens is Latin for the playing human and I think by using a pedagogy of play the kids can learn so much by really playing games. So we use a game like Maraba Raba to teach maths concepts. I refer to the boom whackers that we do. So by engaging in music learners learn about fractions um, and, and I just think it brings a fun element so you really address the effective domain of kids showing more interest in science and, and in, in mathematics. A big concern of course was um, what do we do in foundation phase, um, you know, with little ones. And we started to use puppetry um, because we need to make sure that kids from a young age become scientifically literate. And scientific literacy can really be well achieved by using um, arts and drama as a pedagogy. So we've got a, a marginalised community in Jan Kempdorp on the border of Northwest and um, the Northern Cape who make these puppets for us. So it's also part of Northwest University's community engagement programme. And the women there, the university supplied them with sewing machines and they actually make these puppets. So we also train foundation phase teachers in how to use puppetry as a pedagogy so that kids understand what what does a scientist do in his lab? What, what, what does science mean? And in the process, hopefully, we will address lit scientific literacy in young children um, and really f lay a solid foundation for kids to pursue careers in science one day.